All right, guys, welcome back. Day number five on Eagle. We are blessed with some rain all day. There's a strip of rain from Louisiana to the end of Hudson Bay, and it's just gonna sit over us all day. So we might cast a few spots, but I think we're gonna troll most of the day. I just rigged up my two big trolling rods. Me and Kev are gonna go out. Jess went to town to get suckers today. She left before us. Find yourself a girl that gets up before you to go to town and get you musky suckers for the next day. So she's getting suckers. We might pick her up around noon. Um, but we're going to go out. I think we're going to troll, learn some water, auto charts some stuff, and catch some muskies. All right, we went back. We got reinforcements. We got our good luck charm, Jess, and she brought wings. So we're eating a little, a little snack, and uh, we're going to cast the rest of the day. The rain lit up, so... Yeah, babe. She missed it, that's why. You got her in the top of the head. Oh, did I? <laughs> the tube. Funky one. First eagle casting fish. <laughs> Feels good. Now I feel a little more confident. It's like a hook trail, look at that. Yeah, special. What about this spot? Well, have you seen this fish a few times, I think. But this is definitely our favorite spot. Yeah. Are you ready? Tail up, head down. <laughs> Donuts. Yeah, this is Herbie's spot locking spot. Fish, fish, fish. It's hooked funny, I think. Oh, she missed it. It's a big one, too. Oh, come on. She must have, I don't I don't know. She had to have. It was on my paws. I went to like I was on my paws and like she like pulled her out of my hand. Like she swiped, must have missed, and then was like going the other way and like pulled me. Yeah. Window. Window open. Well, get your snagged fish and get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I think you tried to bite. You both oh. fucking snagged yours. Mine was yeah, you snagged you. yours in the head too. Mine in the head, but let's <laughs> Put them in the mouth. Now all of a sudden they're they don't eat all fucking day and now they're just committing suicide. Yeah. Well that's alright. I had to snag pike today and <laughs> we, we've only snagged We've all only fish. snagged fish today. <laughs> okay. Too chunky, but <laughs> Kevin made a good comment. We have not we caught one fish this morning trolling. It was a pike snagged to the matlock. Jesse just had hers in the back of the head. This one just got it in the tail. I don't know what's going on. They're obviously trying to bite the bait. I highly doubt we're pulling pause baits into them. But I wish they'd get it in the mouth, make them feel a little bit better. But just put on a double dog pounder, Cisco pattern. Nice fatty. I didn't catch one yesterday casting, so it feels good. Huh? Alright, here's where I got her. Don't ask me how. I'll show you guys that bait real quick. 
on that and then I'll show you guys the rod real quick. There's actually a specific rod I use for this bait and all stuff really big. My pounders I throw in my extra heavy predator. This one and then like two pounders and anything that's I'd say bigger than a pounder. I use a double extra heavy predator but 100 pound braid, 12 inch, 49 strand. This is my 130 pound leader. Solid welded ring to a stay lock. Or a, I'm sorry, a split ring, not a stay lock. We do offer them in stay locks, but this I run, I run split rings. This is the rod I run it on. This is a 10 foot Lauren Brothers double extra heavy predator. This is about the heaviest, baddest musky rod there is in the world. Five and a half inch half wells, 19 inch uh, small flare, Daiwa T or Daiwa Pro Rex, 8.1 to one. Is that one of the people that just bought you? Yeah, baby. That one freaking smoked it. In the mouth. All right, um, just confirmed that one in the mouth and all three of these bites have been the last 15 minutes. So I think there's a window here. We're gonna make this fast. Another one on the double dog. That one absolutely smoked it on the paws. There was no doubt about that. And another nice Eagle Lake Muskie. Fall is known for just short windows throughout the day. We've been fishing all day, finally got our window. This is a part of the day we haven't been catching them. It's 4.20 right now. Four o'clock, like after three has been absolutely dead for us the last four days. Today, they're biting. Silver Eagle Lake muskies. Loving that freaking bait. Literally, I have water up my nose. I think it's not cold. <laughs> that one smoked it. Front hook. Thank you. Okay. It's now 440. Another one. Same bait. Fish is under the line. I'm just gonna take my bait off here. Instead of trying to roll the fish over, just take your bait off, pull it through, you're good. I put this on, I don't think I'm gonna take it off the rest of the trip. Yeah, it's a double dog pounder, I love it. Here we go. Turned a slow day into a pretty amazing one. This spot has been unbelievable for us. Fish after fish. Just gotta find the bigger ones. What? That's a fish. Oh, let go, let go, let go, let go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Is there a fish on it? Yeah. Didn't even get it down. Ah. Look at all that guiding, guys. Feel the fish? Yeah. I need it to turn right away from you. Oh no! She was there though, eh? Oh, she's totally there. That's crazy.
All right, that's a wrap. Day number four or five? What is this, Jess? Five. Five? Day yeah. five. Good day. We uh, ran to work all day, and then for one little window, and then uh, Kev had a shot right there in the end of the sucker, but overall, great day. Muskies went in the boat. Kind of found out a new little pattern, got a bite on new bait. Things are good. Tomorrow we got some good weather. We are going to lose some cloud cover. We got a major right away in the morning. So we're going to get out and fish that early. Mornings have been our best time period. So we're going to get back, eat some steak, be back out here early in the morning. See you guys there.